one thing about my friend Musa Kawola, he will get a petition. Okay? And he will tell on himself that is what I needed Deborah Petter to do when she was on third degree. Okay? Investigative raw journalism. Only stuff that I could wish her. Because, yeah, English. Only stuff that I could wish for. Because I just sit in studio and just deliver the news. I need to be on the streets. I need to be. But my face, guys, I, I'm not ready with my face. I'm not. Okay? Nyan amugela gun kuboyami. Bumtabaka chayat. Bumtabaka koko. Bumtabaka anti. Bumtabaka sissy. I am Sims. And it's at the right Sims on Instagram. So please. Follow your sister. We are vlogtobing. Sorry, guys. I wasn't online yesterday. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. I have asthma on Tuesdays. So please, don't you dare. Okay? We are coming to you live from Discover TV. Let us be your stage. Hmm. So let's not waste any more time. And let's get straight into the tea. <sighs> Cyan, my sister. Cyan Bujio, why Cyan? Cyan was playing a gig, right? She booked a whole V class. We saw the pictures of her in the V class. She and the driver allegedly agreed that Cyan will pay the driver six thousand rands for him transporting her, right? So Cyan gave the driver three thousand rand deposit. It's alleged. And then she promised to give the driver the other 3,000 later on. Okay, after she did the ah, uh, chicken, ah, uh, hippie, hippie, ah, uh, chicky, chicky, wah, the driver's like, my money. And then Sian is like, what money? And it's like, you were in my V class. There was a Don Julio. Julio, Julio. If I can't pronounce it, I've never drank it. Just know that one of that John. Sian is like, no, I'll give you later. Driver's like, Ex what? We, we, girl, I've watched Bad Boys 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5. There's too many Bad Boys. No more Bad Boys. It's fine. I will, I will, I will show you. Sian is like, oh, okay, try me. Try me. Me, I'm not Namakwa. Don't try me. Aibo, they got into it. Sian beat the driver's car, okay? She took a stone and threw it at a V-class. A V-class is not a Viano. A Viano is not an H1. A H1 is not a venture. So imagine she threw a stone at the V-class. Now the window is broken. Now the driver is like, aha. Now you owe me 3,000 and you broke my window. Now what I must do? Okay? So people are like, we really need to do a work for Cyan. Umsebenzi, guys. We need to do umsebenzi as, as a female. Since they you Cyan, umsebenzi. Oh, just a small job. A, a young work. Okay? We can't use a cow or a goat. Those things, no, not, they will not work on site. We need a python. She can't wear that thing off cups that is small. She needs to wear one that goes like this. Python skin. Maybe we will stop hearing these dramatic stories because I can't. I can't. Okay? There's only one Sims right and one show to report. It can't be Cyan or Michali every week. I refuse. Nina. Musa. Oh, tell me. Musa and his six threats were beaten at the garage. He was at the garage. You know that garage when you do a long distance relationship? You always pass by that garage. He and his friend got a petition at the garage by women that work at work, that do the job of small jobs, big jobs, medium jobs, hard jobs. Those women, apparently, he got touched. You know, they did a Chuck Norris on him. And you know, Musa, Shem, one thing about Musa, he will get bait. He, he, I don't know if he can't fight or he just does this. I don't know. Musa's biggest weapon is his mouth and his Twitter fingers. But physically, it don't look like he can even fight Nemo, okay? He can't even fight Mariah Carey. I'm so worried about Musa. And the type of job that he does requires you to just have a little bit of, uh, like, hey, koala, so it's clever, clearly. Musa does not have any of the steer comb behaviors. He has none. I'm so worried. Sana, but you know what I love about Musa? 
in the same way he comes for all of us, he came for himself that way. He was like, not me and my friend getting a reputation at the garage where we stealth with the prostitutions. I was like, oh, yaiva gengoku. Yaiva gengoku chum. Sorry, Musa. Sorry, Mutas. Ow. Ow. Guys, I know we barely do international news, but we need to talk about this. It's alleged that Kanye and Bianca are getting a divorce. Finally, Bianca will be warm. Oh, Bianca almost suffered from hypothermia with those outfits. Dating Kanye West is like being an Eskimo without the Eskimo outfits. You're always in Iceland in a thong. Oh, Bianca is going to be so warm. Oh, Bianca is going to use, you see our grandmother's Aranda blankets. We can just gather them all and give Bianca. Bianca is going to be the most dressed girl we have ever seen. Kanye. Kanye, the next one you get, can they just make their own clothing decisions, Kanye? Step away from the trash cans. Step away from the garbage trucks. Because it's like you just take whatever and you just paste, paste, paste. Do a little Kim. Do a Vela. Do a Vinky. We don't want, Kanye. But when are your voice is always covered? Your voice is always warm inside your bright stand. Why do you make other kids not dress warm? Do you know how hard it is to have your best equipment outside? Ask me. Every time I wear bikini and I'm shaking it on the thong in a yacht, when I get home, my operation, because I did a C-section twice. Do you think my ex-husband gave me a, a push gift when I birthed two of his kids, those Zulu children, a C-section? Did you think he, he gave me a push gift? Instead, he was like, there's a gift? For Ugdad, I was like, you don't even know that I'm about to break up with you in four years' time. Your time is about to be chai. He didn't even know. Didn't even smell it coming because where, where my push gift at? Where my push gift at? Oh, yeah? Anyway, women that have given birth or women that have wombs, they know, honey, this area needs to always be warm. That's why our cocos make us wear, we always wear a, you must wear a stuffy. Bianca. And then why am I giving a, a, a 30 plus year old woman who dated a, a gangster tips? And why when she was married to that gangster, she did not dress like a, a mafia on a Thursday. She didn't dress like she was on Charlie's Angels, the porn edition. Ah, Bianca, you really make me tired. No. Guys, anyway, we will talk. Musa, when Please, call me, okay? There's an uncle that I know in my hood, Uputspiwe. Putspiwe is not a karate fighter, not do a black belt professional. But Putspiwe, if you're in trouble, he's got steercom behavior. He can teach you one trick or two. This is why I'm always saying, me, I, I'm ready to fight. I'm always ready to fight because why? Uncle Spiwe taught me a thing or two, okay? Mm. Anyway, guys, let us talk on the next a video and the very white did i not get push gifts but i no but that thing is not sitting well with me mandela putwami where were you when i was fighting for my freedom to get my push gifts i just looked at mandela s do you know the bad luck that is going to come my way this week the spirit of long walk to freedom